This story is about the most important being in the world. The most important being in the world is not us people. Sometimes we think we are, but for native people, the most important being in the world is the salmon. Because salmon gives itself, gives life, gives food to everyone. People eat salmon, eagles eat salmon, bears eat salmon, whales eat salmon, seals eat salmon, otters eat salmon. I could go on and on and on and tell you all the things that rely on salmon for life. So for native people, we are not the center of the world. The salmon is. So I'm going to tell you a salmon story. Now, I told you how important they are. And we have a name for them. We call them the salmon people. This is our belief. We believe salmon are really people just like us. They live in houses, in villages under the water. And at a certain time of the year, they put on salmon skin. They become salmon. They change from people into salmon. Then they come back up the rivers to feed the people who live on the land. So we call them the salmon people. Now, I'm going to tell you a story where something important happens. We must honor the salmon people. And many of the tribes here, we do songs and dances and ceremonies and art. But some of the tribes, they put the salmon bones back in the water. When you're done eating a salmon, there's a lot of bones left. We put the salmon bones back in the water so the salmon people can use them to come back again, to be born again. And so now you know about the salmon people. Now you know why we put the salmon bones back in the water. Now I will tell you this story. I am a teacher and I'm going to teach you something by telling you this story. A long time ago, in a village not far from here, there lived a little boy. And this was a very, very, very bad little boy. Oh, he was a bad little boy. He was always lying and cheating and stealing and fighting and complaining. Never did his jobs, rude to the old people, mean to the little kids. He was a really, really bad little boy. Now, one day, the grandpa said to the children, all of you children, it's time to take the salmon bones back to the water. And all the children, except one, ran to the pile of salmon bones. They scooped a big handful of salmon bones and they walked out the door carrying the salmon bones down to the river. Now, everyone was doing this except one. And you know who that one was, right? That mean, rotten, terrible little boy. He said, Grandpa, leave me alone. I'm playing. I don't want to do that now. The grandpa said, this is a very simple thing. This is how we show respect to the salmon people. Do it now. Was it all right? And he went to the pile of bones, but they were all gone. Just a few little bones in the dirt. So he picked them up in his hand and he walked out the door, following the other children down to the river. But he was walking really slow. And pretty soon he couldn't see anybody and nobody was around. So he threw the salmon bones in the bushes. He said, there, no one will ever know. Well, a few days later, he was playing on some big rocks by the side of the river. And accidentally, he slipped and he fell into the river, the deepest part of the river. And he would have drowned, except under the water, someone saved him. Do you know who saved him? The salmon people saved him. And they took him back to their village under the ocean and they took care of him. They took very good care of him. They were kind to him. They were loving to him. They gave him good food. They gave him warm blankets. And all he had to do all day long was run around the village playing with the salmon children. And the boy loved living with the salmon people. They're so nice to me. They're so good to me. I love it here. I'm going to stay here forever. I will never leave. I'm going to live with the salmon people now. But one day something happened that changed everything. One day he was, he was playing with the salmon children and he saw a little salmon girl. And she was hiding in the rocks and she was watching them play. And sometimes she would try to come out to play with them, but then she would run back. And he wondered, what is wrong? What's going on? And he watched her and she would come out and he would see that her leg, it looked like it hurt when she tried to run on the leg. It looked like she was dragging it behind her. It looked as though she had no bones in her leg. Then she would try to play catch and she would lift up one of her arms, but the other arm she could not lift up. It looked as though it hurt when she tried to lift up that arm. It looked as though she had no bones in that arm. No bones in her arm, no bones in her leg. Right away, that boy knew what happened. He knew what happened. And what did he know? 
The bones he threw away into the bushes like garbage. They never made it back to the salmon people. And now this little girl was suffering. She was in pain because of him. And he knew he had to do something. And so that boy went to the salmon people and he said, can you take me back to my village on the land? I have important things to tell them there. And the salmon people said, of course we will. But if you leave our village, you may never come back. You cannot come back. You'll be gone forever. And the boy thought, and he wanted to stay with them. But he said, this is very important. I must go. And so the salmon people took him back to his, to his village on the land. So the salmon people took him back to his village on the land. And he came walking out of the water right in front of the village. And the people saw him coming and they were happy. They saw him coming. They thought he had drowned so long ago, they would never see him again. So they were so happy they were running up to him to hug him and to welcome him back. But the boy put his hand up and said, wait, I have important things to tell you. First, that spoiled, rotten, mean little boy that you used to know, that is not me anymore. I have changed. I'm a good person now. And I must tell you what I have learned. The things we do on the land affect the things that live in the water. The things we do on the land affect the things that live in the water. We must respect and protect the house of the salmon people. We must respect and protect the house of the salmon people. And this is what that little boy taught his people from the time he lived with the salmon people in their villages under the ocean. And that is all the story called Salmon Boy. So there are many questions as a teacher I could ask you. Like, in the beginning of the story, he's a really bad little boy. At the end of the story, he's a good little boy, right? How did he change? What happened in the story that helped him to change to be a different person? And the other thing, what was he telling us at the end of the story? The things we do on the land affect the things of the water. We must respect and protect the house of the salmon people. What is the house of the salmon people? I want you to think about these things because when you hear a story, you should be thinking some things at the end. What did that story teach me? What did I learn? What happened in that story? Would I do that? Would I do something different? You should ask yourself questions. So that's why I'm a storyteller, to share these things with you.